Guys, this is King of the Desert 3 Edition, okay? King of the Desert 3 Edition, and now we are going to, to, to dominate completely. Look at this beautiful and amazing transition, and here we are with the first game of the tournament. Let's now put the overlay. We have a Scotty and Mr. Yo, Mr. Yo and a Scotty on the... Man, I love it. Hopefully the overlay is great and the quality as well. Now I can do something because this is also fix it. There you go. And here we have Mr. Yo on the left, Scotty on the right side. Thank you guys for joining. It's going to be just beautiful. The map is completely different. The civilizations we have Mr. Yo as Aztecs, Aztecs and Scotty Franks. Oh man. Well, you can see how the map it is. Do you think they can wall in this map? I don't know, but for now, we're going to focus and see the first civilization. Aztecs for Mr. Yo. And then we're going to also take a look on F Franks. That is another really, really great civilization. Frank civilization. Well, I really love that one, but always very, very dangerous to play against the Aztecs. We all know that. We really all know that. Let's put the civilization displayed. So we have everything there. You can check the most important about the sieves. I will go zoom in for sure very soon. The elephants, another thing that is very important in this new map is not going to be forward or almost never. It's going to be on a side or at the back, you know. But the map is it's Arabia, man. This is Arabia. Obviously, desertical Arabia, not like green Arabia. More hills and more open. And more open. Be careful with the Echo Nova. I listen to you, but I also listen myself. Welcome, amigo. Okay, there we go, there we go. It should be working right now. Hello, man. How are you doing? Uh, nice to I'm be back. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I, can, are you in the game? Can you catch up? Yes, 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 yes. What time are you at right now? I am in minute 3 and 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, go, go, go. Welcome. Uh, some technical difficulties. Yeah. And I was just talking about the map for Mr. Yo. I see now mm -hmm. Scotty uh, Sir Frank's taking the first elephant. Okay. And Amigo, uh, what do you think about this matchup with these civilizations? Oh man, Franks and Aztecs are going to be a classic one as well. Very, very old matchup. One thing that I really love about Aztecs is their monk resilience, of course. But one thing that I really like about Franks is their very high HP cavalry. If you can get a good amount of cavalry, even monks can struggle with that. So it's going to be all about getting to that point for Scott, in my opinion. That's going to be the only chance for him to get this one. Okay, let's see what is going to happen for now. Some people say in the chat that this map is wallable. Well, I mean, all maps are wallable in theory. I mean, uh, but uh, you have to spend a lot of resources. I don't see that easy to wall map for Scotty. I don't know what you think. I mean, you can do it, but still, you will spend a lot of resources. Yeah, it'll take quite a bit of uh, villager working time as well. Can you hear me well? Is everything working all right? Uh, time is uh, 5 minutes 10 seconds. The time, guys, okay. you can see in the overlay. Look how smooth, how clean is the overlay. All is together here where the cursor in the middle, where the, the village and everything. So everything is here. The time is at the bottom, basically, with all the rest of the data. All right, so I'm at six minutes and five seconds. Let me know when you get there. Okay, wait, wait, wait there, and I will, I will let you know. The elephant, elephant for Mr. Yo, second is one. It's already under the TC, and we are in six, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Perfect. Okay, oh. four villages on wood. Well, it's standard for now. I mean, ooh, but I see four villages for Scotty. That means he's not gonna go scout. Well, seems to be the case. That's kind of awkward. Yeah, man, maybe he's thinking too much in in in, in trying to counter the Aztecs. With Melissa yeah, as well? Yeah, I think so. Oh. That, that's that's kind of long-term yeah. thinking as well. Uh, that's one thing that I really love about Haido games as well. Is just how proactive these guys are about planning their strategies, their next move, even 10 minutes in advance. Yeah. Well, it's also true that with Franks, you can, nah, but he's not going to scout, you see, guys? I mean, um, the build order is pretty clear. I know that you can go scout with four villages on wood, but in this situation, uh, yeah, I, I feel I feel weird that he's going to do that. So maybe he wants to go just for a fast castle. Could be. Well, I mean, we are going to find out very soon. He's going for Loom, so I don't think so. Otherwise, he will be going for a few extra yeah, yeah. villagers and he's not given. No, he's going quick up. Look at this. Okay. Oh, Both the same. Players. Look at the time. Yeah. Okay. The exact same time. 
Well, uh, this is something that I start to like because we see how instead of going full militias, walling all the map, trying to like in the standard definitive edition map, they are going for feudal. This is a feudal approach. Well, ball players are going to be there. I'm not really sure what Mr. Yu is going to be doing though. He's got a few militias right now queued up in or garrison rather in the barracks. But then what is he going to do? Go for skirms? Scott is going to be switched over to go for rather spearmen. Then Scott's going to be switching to skirmishers. Very standard so far. Okay. Well, you see that okay. some walls are happening right now. Okay. I will try to keep, I know, I will try to keep a distance, I will try to not zoom too much, I will only zoom with the action, but sometimes if you zo if you are zoom out too much, people also cannot see. Remember guys, that some people is watching in different device, so we have to we have to get some consideration with everyone. I will try to be a little bit closer, that's also truth, but when you have the uh, potential zoom, you have to use it, man. You really have to use it. Oh, that's that's something that you don't want, uh, multi, multi ship there, Scotty. But, um, well, in this situation, I mean, if Franks is good, uh, Nova, uh, Aztecs are always stronger here. Oh, I can see that the record against her in Chinese, that might be a slight hand. It never really is a good indication because, you know, you never know who's going to win. But, yeah, man, we have a first engagement coming up right now. So we have four militias, four scout plus a scout. Versus only three for Mr. Yo. Yeah, that, that's probably, he, he got surprised, probably. The men times are a little bit... Faster for Mr. Yo, but he got four, and he's sending the eagle away because you can see. Oh, uh oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> what was that trade? Well, that trade. What trade? There's no trade there. Three unit kills. <laughs> no, no, unit trade, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Only Mr. Yo trade units. He lost absolutely everything. So Scotty is starting strong, and now the archers are needed. Imagine now, you see, and and remember, guys, this is a best of three. I mean, uh, there is no room for 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 mistakes. There goes. We have the archers coming in then for Mr. Yo, very standard after the Minotaurs, while Scotty on the other hand is going for the archer range. And he can go for archers as well, but he can go for skirms too, which would also counter spearmen. I still think that going to scout with Franks, uh, it's, it's really good. I mean, they have more HP, uh, the, 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 the Frank bonus for free with the, with the farmers. Mm. I'm not sure about this. Of course, he's getting the lead because he killed all the units. And you can see now the four men at arms going to the wood line. As well, yeah. If he had a few scouts, I would be strictly against skirmishers. But right now, I think he's uh, probably going to want to go for a few archers himself. But he's going for skirmishers right away. Interesting. That's. I'm not really sure how useful that's going to be in the situation. Yeah. Well, uh, for now, he's going to hold. Like, I mean, Mr. Yo, this is the problem, uh, Nova. I mean, even if he got all the men at arms, you can see, now he has the archers. And the men at arms is just basically to, to defend, to avoid to get uh, some early aggression in your economy, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. And that, that is also what I think he's going to be using the skirmishers for. It. He's not going to be raiding with these. So I I don't know what the power unit that he's going to use is. Or if he's just going to try... Maybe he's just going to try to to rush the castle age. As you can see, he's going for full walls. And he's just going to defend with a few skirmishers. Potentially cause Mr. Yield to uh, overinvest into archers. Well, but the, the problem here is that when he noticed that there is some uh, skirmishers... Because Mr. Yo right now... I'm going to go to his point of view... I uh, don't know if he discovered, he didn't discover yet anything. So, but when he sees that he's going full skirmishes, he can make a couple of figures and that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the old time uh, problem right, right now for, for Franks. And well, hopefully walls are going to be strong enough because we certainly want to see a full series over here. And well, Mr. Yu is going to be heavily favored. Hopefully Scott is going to be able to clutch something up, something up over here. Yeah, for now, for now he didn't see yet uh, Nova that his his wall he's gonna notice now. But these walls, I mean, yeah, he can be wall. But look at the gap. I mean, how do you defend that gap if the other guy is coming with really good amount of army? Of course, you got the skirmishes. But if you make few eagles, uh, it's gonna be complicated to stop that. The skirmishes are not that is that powerful against the archers, yes, but against the eagles, they don't make too, too much damage. But uh, he's coming now with six skirmishes. He will have to go away, of course. And uh, you can see, people was, some people was telling, oh, the map is too dangerous, too aggressive. Nova, if you want to wall, you wall. You are going to wall. That is yeah. exactly the case. I have seen my fair share of Arabia turn into arenas. <laughs> so Arena. I can definitely, yeah, <laughs> I can definitely attest for that. Well, I, I mean, people has got... 
too used to this. It's also true that Mr. Yo seems he lost the mana times. He couldn't go super aggressive. That was the good advantage that Scotty got from winning the Drash. Well, now we are going to see Mr. Yo going back at the very least. Scotty is going for... Oh, he's going for, for Wheel Pyro, actually. So it's going to fall behind a little bit in, in Villager count. But his economy is going to be kind of comparable to Aztecs who already start with villages and can carry five extra resources. Really good stuff. Yeah, well, you can see how the resources are looking right now. Over 600 food for Mr. Yo, Scotty got 400. Both have the wheelbarrow. Villas is Mr. Yo is with two villas ahead already. Uh, it's looking really, really close to go up. And the problem now is that uh, he will have to add knights or I don't know, because if Mr. Yo is reaching One castle, thing. it's faster it's gonna be complicated you can see what i was telling you three eagles he got here so he can deal with those skirmishes properly now food is enough for mr yo to go up he does click up and scott is very uh, getting very close as well only 250 food away but what are we going to see in the castle age knights should 100 percent be going for knights what is mr yo going to do then do you expect right full eagles he's going yes. for another barracks yes or, or a few monks too well, maybe both, but Eagles for sure. You can see the Barak already up. The second is coming. Now with the Eagles and a few arches, he's going to be really in a position to dominate. Why? Because the other guy, Scotty, still not up to Castle Age. He's still not up to Castle Age, and he will... Well, now he's up to... It's, it's only one minute difference, but he will need his stables. Without the stables, how he can defend here? Well, he might be sticking to elite skirmishers, which I think is going to be a mistake against Eagles, of course. And you can also see Mr. Yo with a copious amount of gold miners, while Scotty, on the other hand, does not have as many. And as you were saying, no production, only now going for the first table. Going now for the first table. Now he is also seems that he's listening to you and uh, sending quite a lot of villages on goal. He got 10 already. He did the gold mining upgrade. Obviously, he will need knights, but like like you point out, only one is stable. I don't know if it's going to be an oath. Remember that the eagle production with three barracks is going to be sick. Yeah, it's not, man. It's not going to be enough. He needs a second stable for sure. Triple barracks. Eagle production is just going to flood everywhere inside Scotty economy if he's not quick about adapting against this. Okay, Mr. Yo is Castle Age now. He's doing the Eagle Warrior, he's doing the Squires. Man, this is looking much better. You can see how Piggy Zit has been working in the overlay. And hopefully, guys, you notice that he got also the Husbandry. And he's looking, in my opinion, yeah, really, really good. Hopefully, you can see it clear. I have put the font as big as possible. And I will try to keep a distance that everyone can watch, like I said, a few times. But now, do you think Siege is the way to go? Or better, a few bugs? Because if he's going Siege... He's doing a second stable and he knows, he really knows that Scotty will go so nice, so he can snipe the siege as well. Yeah, yeah, I think a few months is definitely going to be a uh, play over here. Or he can go for both as well, it's going to be pricey, but it'll be very hard to stop as well. I'm surprised that he didn't try to make some some small wall in the in that gap that he's breaking right now because he's only one knight. I mean, he's not really in time to to. Well, let's see. He seems that Mr. Yo is respecting the knights, Mr. Nova. He's walking away right yeah. away, but he did go for the monastery. He does have the monastery, two monasteries back home, as a matter of fact. And I don't see siege workshops just yet, so it's going to be only that for now. Well, he he did the double monastery, like you said. He didn't send any value forward. He's trying to push with military, trying to probably don't spend a lot, a lot, a lot in economy. Well, a lot in economy is spending because the total monastery is a big investment, uh, Nova. Yeah, I'm also noticing that Mr. Yo got housed for quite a bit over there, which is uh, one of the worst things that ha can happen to you in this position because having, what, five, six production buildings are not going to be of any use if you don't have population space. Yeah, but he's going, he's going 1 TC full aggressive. Look at the amount of eagles. He got plus 1, plus 1 eagles. He's even doing pikes. I mean, with pikes and eagles all combined, it's, it's a problem. I, I was thinking, Nova, that if he was mining a stone, I mean, imagine a castle that is cheaper for Franks and Axiomans. Would be amazing here. It wouldn't be the best counter, maybe? Could be good because we don't have crossbows. I think that'll actually be a legit counter. Only eagles right now for teal, which is going to be a little bit easier to counter. Okay, that's a good amount of knights, though. 
That's a lot of knights. But he's plus two also. Those knights are strong. He need to get some time. 44 villains, 29 army, 20 army is uh, The population a little bit ahead for Mr. Yo. Also, the pikes now is still only plus one. And the archie range is down. But with the knights, I think those knights are an oath to defend. What do you think? It'll be enough. But now, Scott is not going for any extra archer ranges, and because he didn't go for elite skirmishers, quite clear. Both players are going to be drifting away from range units and just taking to full eagles and knights. And now some monks also for Mr. Yo, which can definitely change the tide. Uh, I see a few scorpions. Scorpions might really help if he get more. I feel that we're going to get some big battle, and that big battle can really, really decide the game. I feel because they are investing everything in, in one TC. Well, now Mr. Yo added the second. Could potentially force uh, Mr. Yo into a siege workshop by going Ouch. for the Scorpions over here, but oh, just a few conversions might be enough. He's going to slide those. Yes, three, three conversions, man. Three conversions. That's a lot. Look at this battle. He has the the heal. Who is getting this fight? I think the Aztecs is destroying. Look at Mr. Yo. He's doing the domination with the Aztecs. It's so difficult. You need a castle. I mean, it's so complicated against the Aztecs or even infantry. And I was afraid that that could happen. I was afraid that that could happen. And it happened. Scotty, call the GG because the Aztecs, you can't let the Aztecs grow like this. Uh, no, but what do you think, man? Well, it's quite clear right now. Scotty ended up not having enough units over there to defend, and even though he had enough knights to deal with the eagles alone, that was a good amount of pikes that Mr. Yo had time to go for because Scotty took too long to get his defenses up. Also, the the um, the conversions were crucial. Like he converted instantly, like well, not instantly, but three knights. And uh, I don't know. I mean, Scotty was doing everything fine. But then he definitely used to die against against the classic Aztec aggression. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, well, that's going to be game number one. What do you think about the first game of the tournament so far? Well, the, the first game of the tournament has been a, a classic Aztec uh, aggression. I don't know if you agree. Uh, yeah. I was expecting a little bit more uh, aggro in Feudal, but they managed to wall, basically a Scotty. Mr. Yo didn't wall 100% uh, in the whole game because, well, Scotty played, I'm, in my opinion, against a civilization like, like uh, Aztecs and Mr. Yo, a little bit defensive. He should have gone more aggressive, I don't know what you think. I think so. I think so too. Maybe he's going to learn from game number one to adapt for game number two. Yeah, well, let's see. He need he need to do it. If you check, unit kill what 21, 17, 39 largest army. That's the problem. He need a lot more army economy. He got almost the same food, more wood, and a lot more gold. Well, it was really, really classic. I don't know. He got remember remember Nova. I don't know if you check the bracket. The sorry, the draft that he got his slabs. I would have go probably with slabs better, uh, like in the first game because being best of three. I'm sure that Mr. Yo was going to pick the, the Aztecs, but well, now it's easy to say. Let's let me update the score, and uh, right. we jump into the into the game number two. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going go. back to see. Let's go for yeah. If we can jump into two, all right, perfect. We are starting game number two, and one, two, three. Let's go. And um, well, same colors. Mr. Yo on the left as Chinese. On the left hand Chinese, thank you so much for the support. It's Scotty Red as Slavs. What do you think about this matchup? Well, Slavs with 10% faster farmers and the 15% cheaper uh, siege weapons can definitely go for something like Pikes and Siege, which usually works very well against our uh, cavalry driven civilizations. But Chinese are going to be so versatile that I don't think a one trick pony is uh, kind of push is going to work over here. And Mr. Yo, well. He's going to be definitely the kind of player to take advantage of a civilization like this, as he's going to have a lot of choices to go for, and he's going to be one of the most versatile players in the game as well, so it goes really well. What what I don't understand, uh, Nova, is that how... And I will I will show the civilizations for the viewers here, with the, the Chinese first and then the Slavs. What I don't understand, really, it's... Why you let... get those crazy civilizations? I mean... Uh, he pick... Aztecs, Mines, and China, like, yeah. top saves, and uh, I don't know, man, it's, it's kind of weird, don't you think, the draft from, from Scotty? 
I think so. Burmese, Celts, Franks and Slavs. Celts and Slavs feels like it's going to be the same type of civilization to counter the same type of other civilization. But then Mr. Yo, it's not like he's going to be lacking choices, as you were saying. It's going to be a really rough series for Scotty overall anyway. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. I mean, he's favorite, but at least try to try to get you, you, yourself the best civilization. Because if we have the best player and also he get better civilization, then the... the... <laughs> the goal to win the game or win the series it's become almost impossible there is an argument to be made as well um about at this level the drafting being so important for the series why could potentially even say that mr yo already won the draft which is going to give him a huge lead in the series and scott is in a position where he already had to fight uphill now he's gonna have to fight uphill with a 2000 pound boulder on his shoulder as well yeah it's crazy it is well, it's crazy. Well, I want to remind guys that you can see where you see the alert that the sponsor in this tournament, great sponsor, and you can see there is Pinstech, a Chinese sponsor with 30,000, and then Microsoft, like you can see there, with another 20k. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. It's still fifty thousand dollar the tournament. Well, Nova, who will say that that in 2020 we will get this this crazy year with tournaments, and now a 50k for one v one Arabia. It's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. Been saying that as well. 2020 might be the craziest year for the world in, in the recent history, but Age of Empires is actually doing quite well. <laughs> yeah, this game deserves it, man. This game deserves mm -hmm. it. <laughs> well, uh, for now, and back into the game, we see how. Berries at the back, the main goal at the back, definitely some heal in front uh, on the right side. Uh, more open map, like you can see that, like the standard. And uh, I feel like I'm the malicious, but. What is going to be now the approach? Is it going to be the same that before? Fast fast up and then the men at arms? Or they will try to go malicious trying to wall? I feel that they will they will go more fast fast feudal in this map. I think so too. Scotty should be going for a few malicious. I have not seen Chinese do it too much. They can do it. But I think he's probably just going to be going for scouts or straight archers. We are going to find out depending on the uptime and, uh, and the villager count as well. Okay. Let's see, I want guys, people in the stream that uh, let me know because I have changed uh, several things in the quality. I'm streaming also with less bitrate, trying to make you able to watch in full HD uh, completely without any buffering and anything. And also I have changed some settings that hopefully it's, you notice that this makes the, the quality more and more clear. Just let me know because uh, since it's the first day, we want to have best quality possible for the rest of the tournament and yeah this is like a good test be alive being say that nova barack already up for scotty so yes uh, but... oh a lot of damage over there for mr yield scout too yeah almost that well where's where the scout for scotty it's going to be wildly out of place so he's not going to be able to finish mr yields off uh, but he's going to be getting some good scouting information and it's very unfortunate for him that he's just passing by the wool line and now Mr. Yo is going to put a Lambert camp on because he's not going to know about it. Yeah, man. I was just there. I was in the, the POV with uh, the Fog of War activated. And it's, it's crazy because the Lambert camp is just there in that kill. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, sometimes it's, it's the lack is take a good role in the, in the game. The, or the timing. Oh, yeah, timing, timing. Yeah, do not downplay, of course, the player's ability to, or the game sense, rather. Uh, also, I noticed there's a lot more hills over here than standard Arabia. Is, is that a thing for King of Desert specifically, or is this just map particularly bumpy? Is the, is the map. Is the map is specifically mm -hmm. done like this, because if you remember the, the Arabia back in the days, these hills is still nothing what what uh, was the the original Arabia. Original Arabia was crater over crater all the time, you know. The problem with yeah. the with the ease that we got used to to green Arabia, flat and wall till uh, till impedance. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh. See. oh, but look at this. He was trying to go with the five villages forward. Now he's going back because the scout was around. He don't want to get this. What is dancing? He, what is he doing with the villages? Man. I don't understand this. He was he wanted to go forward and he went back several times already, uh, Nova. Well, let's get the militias. He was waiting for the units to be ahead. Oh, right. Oh, this is genius from Scotty. He's taking the militia forward so that Mr. Yo only worries about tracking this, the militias, even though he lost his scout. And now Scotty's villagers are going to go unnoticed. Yes, it's like this. I am in 10, in 10 minutes, 30 seconds. You might be a few seconds behind. Go, go, go. Because we saw right. all the scout there. 
You can see how he's walling, not fully wall. Uh oh, one villain is going to be down. Maybe not. And this is good because the four mana times are there. I believe that he's going to make a good tower. The tower is going to take the wood and the berries. This is a real aggression now for Mr. Scotty. Is he mining a stone? Uh, he's not mining a stone. That's mm, a little bit unfortunate because now what do you do with those five villains forward? Yeah, students are also going to be kind of exposed for Mr. Yo too. The secondary one at the very least is so far away, and the main one is also kind of far away, kind of on the back a little bit, but then it's it's going to be very towerable too. So Scotty definitely stands a chance over here. Maybe this is going to be the one to bring him back into the series. Well, it would be great. Remember, guys, best of three. He needs to go now all in. Oh, sticking that stone there and put one spear. I don't like that approach because... Now, uh, what damage are you doing? You need to make early damage. Oh, of course, he got the berries and moved the, and moved those labriacs. But uh, you need to make constant aggression. I don't know what you think. And now you give time to Mr. Yo to stabilize. He's doing the tower on his own wood because he doesn't have another. Remember, this is the good thing with the map, uh, Nova. One wood bye-bye. Uh, but where's the other wood for Yo? Very far from the TC. That is true, but Mister is not going for stone either, so when Scotty gets enough resource over here, he's gonna be able to go for the second tower, and then Mister is not gonna be able to defend. Um, also, I was I was noticing that maybe Scotty, the reason why he did not start taking mine back home is because he didn't know if he was gonna be able to do damage, and maybe now he knows, but it, it's kind of risky because you're already sending a lot of villagers forward, your economy is already going to be affected. If you're going for it, might as well just go all in. Yeah, and he's not going. Look at now. He didn't even wall the tower. I mean, he, he's now going to lose the tower. And, and then what? Well, he got the mana times and the spears, but he's well defended with the tower. He's now killing that one. He can go back to the berries. He's now walling his goal. Mr. Yo is just doing absolutely great, Mr. Nova. And he's coming forward as well. He's got three scouts and he pushed all the gold miners from Scotty away. Now he's going to be able to take a, a forager over here, maybe? Maybe one or maybe more, maybe more than one. One is going to be down and he's going to take another. Now the spear is coming from a slabs. He's going to take it. Ah, not looking good. I told you it's four, three villains ahead. And, and really ma make no sense what, what he did. Now he can make another tower, but with what, uh, uh, Nova? Because he has all the villains now there. Well, he's trying to go to the goal maybe. Yeah, but he's being chased by those villains, and now what Mr. Yo need is to send the scout to another spot, and he will distract. Look at the wood line. Ah! It's incredible how with only three scouts, he managed to get three villagers so far. He might even get four, five villagers. What is this? Oh my god, that's, uh, that's really unfortunate by Scotty. He's, he's, he's definitely taking a, a big mistake there. Now he did the blast bit there on the right side. Yeah, he's doing another tower, but that tower yeah, is gonna take the birds. At least he's gonna take the stable. Yeah, but Mr. Yo already got an archer range. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, what time are you at right now? 16.15. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we're about the same time. Indeed, man. It's... Mr. Yo, three scouts with all his gonna be working back home is gonna be doing a lot more damage than Scott is sending five villagers forward. And well, not really committing too heavily into it either. It's well now that tower down. Now that tower is good, Nova, because he's taking the goal. So no goal for Yo, but just look Mr. Yo. <laughs> he's already in the in the goal in the north. Oh my god. His game says and he was he was anticipating the tower eventually yeah. landing over there, he already diversified. Yeah, I'm taking his fog of war, and uh, he saw all those resources. He has the stone, and now he's going to mine the stone. But man, but like you said, Mr. Yo, now he has few archers, but Mr. Yo did a lot of damage with three scout. I mean, seven unit kills, and is mainly villiers. Have you noticed if? Oh, oh, you got the overlay right. Uh, does anybody yeah. get will barrow yet? Uh. Will Mr. Yo even got Wheelbarrow, so he has what? a huge advantage there. He got the Wheelbarrow, double it as horse collar, no horse collar for Scotty. Now with those scouts, the advantage now economically for Yo is, is insane because he's also with China civilization. Well, uh, Scotty got the slabs, which is a really good one. But look at now, sending back the four villages. Well, at the end... Uh, well, but, but Scotty is over 2k, but at the end, uh, the, the seating... It's for some reason, right, uh, Nova? And those mistakes also happen because, well, less experience than Mr. Yo, obviously. Yeah, and now 
Scotty also had a nice lead on food over there, but Mr. Yo is going to be catching up nicely. And if you take a look at the food workers, Mr. Yo is going to be a little bit ahead too. So he should be able to go up faster even. Yeah, man. I mean, the uh, the economy he has is, is just insane. Even, even I will say that it's not super strong balance because if you check, if he got the market, he got over 700 mm -hmm. wood. He just made another Lambrick and he got... A lot of a lot of wood. He could be Castellage like a couple of minutes ago. Look at the resources he has, yo. Yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes 700 wood, and, and Scotty, on the other hand, is going to be on only 250. He's not going to be able to use the market even if he had one, and now he's going to get pushed away from the wool on the right hand side. Yeah, and, and just look, look, that the wool line here, I mean, if he's wool and all, he's super exposed. I mean, he's moving. How many villages? 17 villages. Look at the disaster he has right now. Disaster by him. Well, Mr. Yo, it's on the way to Castellage already. I mean, he's on the way to Castellage. While Scotty Nova, it's on the way to nothing. On the way to the GG, man. Where does he move the villagers? There is no safe wool line over here for him at all. Well, he's going to the south because Mr. Yo yet is not in that area. But... Uh, yeah, he, he's gonna deal probably with the army, but the difference in the economy is just, it's just so big. I mean, really, really big. Somebody was saying over here, it's crazy how much Scotty would destroy any of us, and then how much you destroy Scotty. There's the thing about Age of Empires, man. Everybody from the lowest to the highest ELO players are going to start with one TC, one scout, and three villagers. What you do from there on can vary so much. The skill yeah. ceiling is incredible. But it's crazy, right? The Nova, like, it looks, and I will put in quote, that Scotty is, is not looking like a pro, and he really is a pro, but Mr. Yeah. Yo is in another level. Exactly, exactly. That, that's just the difference between the top 10, the top 16, right? And, and basically everybody else. Yeah, I mean, he's doing now a skill bad in armor, but I don't know if he's going to keep going in the game, because now, if he's just doing several nights, that's... What? Mr. Yo want to quick... Well, to finish quick, and that means a castle on his face. He's gonna make a castle on his face. I, I, I smell the castle. So many villages. Look at the stone. He will buy the stone. Siege war stop. That he has a market, Mr. Yo. No market, so he can't buy the stone. He's doing the market right now, and he's not even needed, man, because we got the first series done. Mr. Yo, no surprise, Nova. Total domination in the first series, man. Super, super quick win. Those were some quick games, and that's uh, unfortunate for Scotty, but it's going to allow us to keep in track as well. We do have a lot of games to go through today, and how many series are going to be in total? Six? Huh. Seven? Eight series! Eight? Now, eight? seven more! <laughs> seven more! Well, but man, I'm going to tell you, Nova, yeah. if the series are as fast as this, hopefully not, we will finish really quick, you know? I mean, best of three yeah. is not the same that a team game, best of five, like we were doing in Battle of Africa. I think eight series... Come on, Nova, we are we are best. We can with this and with more. Oh, of course, of course, man. Yeah, it's not going to be the first 11, 12 hour stream for sure. And I know it's not going to be your first one. <laughs> yeah, well, we will have a lot. We'll have a lot. Anyway, military, you can see the unit killed 17, 8. I mean, the economy difference, just check the economy difference in really short time. A little bit more food, but remember that he was a slaps, so even with the slaps he got more food. More wood, more than double the stone, and what is the biggest also achievement here? Over a thousand gold. Well guys, that's the first win uh in the tournament. Mr. Yo 2-0 versus Scotty. Alright, so